Welcome to video two of three, showing you my serve progressions for rebuilding a service motion correctly from the ground up. In the first video, we looked at the correct continental grip, as well as practicing extending and reaching up to contact. Here we're going to take it the next. Here we're going to take a look at the next two progressions, number three and four, out of six progressions. And you're going to see me here in number three, beginning in a sideways position, just like I did in the last progression where I was simply rotating and reaching up towards contact. This time you'll see that I have a ball in my hand. And again, my racket is beginning back on edge, just relaxed and comfortable with my elbow pointing back towards the camera. And you're going to see me reach up and make contact with the ball now. So I'm making a toss. I'm turning my body forwards into that exact same position that I was before, chest facing towards the net, hips facing towards the net, full extension with my arm, shoulder, and hand, and racket. My racket is square, perpendicular to the court surface, and I am not following through. That part of it might be difficult for some of you at first, but you are not trying to follow through. You are simply coordinating your right hand and your left hand to make the toss in the right spot and reach up and just touch it. So we, we don't have a goal here of making the serve. We are not trying to hit the ball over the net. We're simply just trying to practice repeating what we learned in the last progression, which was the turn and reach, the contact point. And we're coordinating that with a ball toss now to make contact in the right spot. If you have trouble doing this at first, I would really recommend you spend at least five, 10 minutes, maybe longer if you have a hard time doing this. If your racket's not staying on edge or if you're following through and you're not freezing at that contact point, then give it some time and definitely practice. Okay, next up, again, you're gonna see me start from that same position. Sideways, elbow towards the camera, perpendicular to the courts, hand and racket relaxed, just back on my shoulder. Again, I'm going to toss. Again, I'm going to make contact in that same extended position. And now I'm going to move my racket through the point of contact and to a follow through position. I'll go over that in a second. So again, same starting position. Same contact point. This is virtually identical to all the other practice ones that I did. And now the follow through position is this. Chest, shoulders, and hips facing towards the target. Maybe even rotated a little bit further to the left if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, a little bit further to the right. And the racket is, kind of, is going to come down across your body, relaxed and loose, so that the tip of the racket is pointing towards the back fence, towards the camera in this uh, instance here with the camera behind me. Let me play over those again. Okay, so here we go. So sideways starting position, full reach at contact, and then relaxed and smooth moving the racket across your body the tip of the racket pointing towards the back fence. So these are progressions three and four out of six. The first video, make sure you check that out if you haven't already. That gets things started with an introduction and the first two progressions. Here's number three and four. And next up in the third video, I'll cap things off and show you how this leads into a full, correct service motion.